One day, he was at a rock God can save you any place if you turn your heart towards Him. I have a question. I have a real question on the surface. God is everywhere. I have a serious question. God is everywhere, right? No, He's not in Iran and Iraq. Oh, oh, oh. So Saudi Arabia. Wow, I'm Iranian, you jerk off. <laughs> That's kind of God, offensive. Jerk. What about Russia? You're a dickhead. That's really offensive, sir. <laughs> I hope God sticks with us. I'm going to read to you out of the Bible. Looking forward and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. God cleansed this earth oh. once with water. That was no, I'm just listening to the Bible banger. Archaeologists now have told us, yeah, there was a universal flood. They found all kinds of fossils through the whole world, and all the sediments, all uh, wherever you go. You know anything about plate tectonics? What can you do? If you go to the Grand Canyon, which has been in the news a little lately because of all the water they've had there, they have they have a layer of rock, right? And they found that a lot of those layers are actually upside down from what they ought to be. Explain that. Oh. Right. Everybody else is. Mike, you're sorry. So by everyone else, you mean you discovered that? No, everybody else that studies that. Really? What are, they, what are the people called? That How about anybody ever hear of Mount St. Helens? What about this? What are the people called? He's bad in the creation. You remember when? Remember when they had the volcano blow up in Washington? Yeah. And remember the lake that was there in the thousands and thousands of acres with all the trees down, and a lot of the trees were in the lake, right? You remember those pictures? Do you know what happened to those trees that were in the lake only 20 some years ago? They're gone. They fossilized. They're carbon. Yes. They turned into a petrified wood. Which means they're calcium. In 25 years, they've turned into petrified wood. Do you know that petrified wood is not calcium? Oh, yeah, their explanation is uh, it takes millions of years, except in that case. The French were digging up a, uh, a trestle. They had an old railroad uh, train, and they needed to redo the bridge. This wasn't that long ago. They had great big wooden beams going down into the earth. They pulled the beams up, and you know what they found at the bottom of the beams? Petrified wood. Dinosaurs! Dude, so you're the wood, too? I thought I was the only one. They, uh, they found that... They found in a hundred years, the bottom parts had turned into coal. Coal? That's not in your biology book. That's not in your natural science book. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible says when you get married, you become one. Two men can't become one. The Bible says, for this cause shall a man and a woman leave their parents and come together. It never talks about two men or two women. I don't care if Schwarzenegger son something in the law that says that they can uh, get married, they can. I don't care if Ted Kennedy says that they can get married, it's wrong. It's perversion before God. It's tyranny against the Almighty. So what Why does he give a shit? <laughs> God torched Sodom and Gomorrah for perversion. And, he saved he saved and I want to tell you something about homosexuals. God's going to get them in the end. God's going to take all the Sodomites by the testicles and throw them into the rectum of hell. There's no such thing. There is no such thing as a Christian sodomite. There's no such thing as a Christian thief. 
There's no such thing as a Christian bartender. Why should we listen to what the Bible says? Dude! The Bible's the only, the only book that Hitler tried to get rid of. And when you get right with God, you'll give up your little earrings. God wants to, you know, here's what guys don't know. Earrings on men make them look feminine. And I think you look feminine, sir. So do polarized sunglasses. Where's your sword? This is my sword. It gets at ya! The Bible says it is sharp and cutting, like a two-edged sword. Well, Casino's got sin right in the middle of it. C-A-S-I-N. I am from Wisconsin. That's true. You're from Wisconsin? Yep. So wait, why? So we walked into this casino, and I had a Bible in a case. And this pretty nice Indian guy came up. He saw us snooping around. I had never been in one before. Well, you know, it was a leather, just a leather. And he said, "What's in there?" And I said, "It's a weapon." And he says, I want to see it. So I unzipped it like this, and I said, it's the word of God. <laughs> and he laughed and he let us look around. You get right with God, you'll never masturbate again. The days are of pornography are over. A lot of you guys sit in front of the internet with your pants down. Ladies and gentlemen, masturbate is the only way of American life. I believe in masturbate. Shit, I've done it. He's done it. That's what he's doing right now. You don't think he gets off on this? I believe in pornography. Oh no, you know what the definition of masturbate is? I have to play with one. How many years have you been here? This is what four years at the U of M will do to you. Turn you into imbecile. The devil's got your man. Four years in the university and that's what they come up with. Four letter words, masturbation, that's about it. Jet takes it up the ass. Well, I've been out here about 25 years. I take one year over 25 years of that. I was preaching in front of uh, Roosevelt High School in South Minneapolis. And they had a guy who was in some black leather with the chains and stuff. He was in the rock group deal. And anyway, so I was preaching to this guy and his buddies were around him. And he starts shaking like this. <laughs> and they held on to him. And you laughed at him while he had a seizure. <laughs> no. And the, and the kid said, he's having a seizure. I didn't know that. You're right. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought he was having a demonic attack. That's why you're not working in the health field. Jesus Christ has more power than all of your religion put together. That's more powerful than stem cells. All of your Muslim background put together. You no, know, you can't just say that. You have no idea what you're saying. You can take all the Catholics and Baha'is. You can take all the Mormons. Hey, smack the all the Mormons. All the Jehovah Witnesses. All the Catholics. And Jesus Christ has more power than his pinky than all of those religions put together. As, as demonic as they are.